girl with a refreshing salad idea. All right, thank you, John. Yeah, it's always exciting when Common Ground volunteers stick around to share <laughs> a recipe. And Carol's been busy in her garden, and she's going to show how to make a craisin salad. And uh, what do you have in your garden? Well, right now I have peppers, tomatoes, beans, squash, and I still have lettuce and uh, spinach, and I have some broccoli. My broccoli's not doing very well. Mm -hmm. But uh, I planted this spinach about the end, uh, first part of May, end of April, mm -hmm. and it did really well. And now that it's hot, it's kind of slacking off. Right. But, oh, my daughter and I, we've eaten salad and eaten salads, and we're kind of tired of salads. Gosh, that <laughs> makes me jealous of you. I wish I had a big patch. Is it fairly large? It's two 12-foot rows, one of each, mm -hmm. one of each, 12-foot yeah. row of each. And that's all. It, so I thought, well, you know, if somebody wanted to plant just even this much, as bountiful as it was, yeah. We had plenty. Great. Okay, so this salad looks really refreshing. Uh, perfect. You want to take it to work or oh, absolutely, whatever yeah. it may be. So and it it stays. It'll keep like a day or two even just with the uh, oil on it. It just seems to keep okay. pretty well. And you make your own dressing too. So we're going to yes. share all that with our viewers mm -hmm. today. So how do we begin then? Well, I put part of my lettuce in here, and I have uh, some slivered almonds. We'll just kind of layer it in here. I have some bacon bits. And we'll layer that in there. I have some uh, craisins. That's that's the name. That's mm -hmm. the craisins, mm -hmm. dried cranberries, Parmesan cheese, and mozzarella cheese. And it's a very hearty, very very hearty lettuce salad. And a, some of that in there, and then some more. We'll just layer some more in there and go on top. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of easier to lay it layer it than to mix it because you just mix it when you take it out with your more more almonds, more bacon bits. More craisins. I always think salads are better too when you have these fun toppings. You just mm -hmm. have to remember when you're at the store to have some of these on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. yeah. And like we, like uh, you mentioned, with the make a meal out of it with meats, yeah. various meats, pork, beef, chicken, chicken. tuna, eggs, anything. Mm -hmm. Boil some eggs and get that sure. on top too. Yeah, and we'll just toss it a teeny bit. Looks great. And then what's in your dressing? Okay, it's one cup of vegetable oil. There's a plethora of vegetable oils: your canola, your olive oils, even your rice oils. Plain corn oil, you can make a cup mm -hmm. of that, a cup of sugar, okay. a half a cup of red wine vinegar, a red onion, about a half of a nice size red onion. It says like a half a cup of chopped red onion, but a half mm -hmm. a size of nice red onion, and some two, ta two teaspoons of dried mustard. Throw it in the uh, blender and puree mm -hmm. it. Now you can also purchase ones that are very similar. Yeah. And then if you want to tweak it a little bit to make it less little less fat maybe mm -hmm. cut your oil and add some water or maybe some sugar substitutes and try that just you know maybe cut the calories or yeah. however you want to do it all right I'm gonna give this a try here I like cheese so okay. I'm glad I have that on top yay okay. it's, it's fun it's it's yeah. fun we've we've eaten a lot of crazy salad we've eaten uh, some some of those old seven layer salads where you put yeah. the cheese and lettuce and peas and my mom always makes that that's a I great keep one. a bowl of that in there because my daughter seems to love that okay let's give this a try huh? very good thank you I can see why you've been eating this every day oh yeah yeah it's <laughs> and I we get tired of it <laughs> and we eat boiled eggs I don't know we're we're just two of us so we <laughs> eat, we eat kind of sketchily but mm -hmm. we always have boiled eggs in salad I think no. That's perfect. All right. Well, we have this recipe for you on our 1011 Facebook page and on 1011now.com. So thank you, Carol. Back to you, John. 